Hi everybody, a little bit more progress done on the head gasket job here. Um, I decided to go with the bearing caps after all. Um, this is, engine isn't going to be perfect, it's not a race engine. Um, it's going to be as good as it can be. I uh, put those on and uh, I just have the rocker arms sitting here. And I kept them as a whole assembly so I didn't remove anything. Uh, so there was nothing to reassemble there. But I do want to take these back off and take them to work and just give them a little bit of a bath. Just a, just a little bath. So I may do that this week. Um, we'll see. Uh, see how, it depends on how impatient I'm feeling. Uh, the bolts really have a lot of crud on them, so getting correct torque is going to be uh, mildly to heavily difficult. So for right now, they're just placeholders. And like in a previous video that I did and I showed you, um it's almost impossible to get the uh uh pulley here the uh, actual uh, sprocket to go on to the end of the camshaft with the rocker arms tightened down and in place just in case that it happens to turn just a hair because of the pressure of the valve springs or whatever um could turn the uh kit the camshaft just enough that the little knock pin that's in here. You see this little hole right here, this little square. The knock pin should be facing straight up and down. So when you're on top dead center on the crank pulley, which is the second uh, second notch here, which I'm off just by a hair, um, but the knock pin should be facing straight up and down on the camshaft. That's how you know. So then once the, the chain is all lined up and you got the links where they're supposed to be, like you know this is a melling kit so I actually had to mark off my own links you can see my mark here and there's a the dimple right there on the sprocket there's a similar one on the uh, crank pulley sprocket so once you get those lined up and you put the camshaft back in you spin the camshaft by hand to get the knock pin to face up and down it'll line up with the cam cam sprocket here perfectly it should slide right on and I haven't even torqued this down yet I just have that as a placeholder as well so nothing on here except for the head itself is torqued down I'm just kind of doing uh, placeholder stuff. When I go to torque down, it's going to be the same sequence. It's going to be in to out, in to out, cross, crisscross across the, the whole thing. But, I mean, these rocker arms are could use a little bit of a bath. So I figure I'll take care of that uh, this week. But for right now, it's just going to hold everything where it's supposed to be. And everything's just finger tight or not even tight at all. Uh, but that's how it goes back together. And this is the worst part. This is making sure that once you're all done, that everything is timed properly. This is the most stressful part right here. Everything else is just nuts and bolts. So once I got this all together and torqued down, and this is uh, the crank pulley's torqued down, I'll put a wrench on it and I'll spin it over uh, twice by hand and just watch and make sure that nothing is uh, nothing's hitting, nothing's binding. And obviously, I want to make sure that the valves are not hitting the uh, uh, hitting the uh, crankshaft or the piston heads in any way. That's that's the other thing. Sorry if I'm a little stumbly. It's just it's been a long week. I actually have a new job. <laughs> I got a new position at work, and I'm pretty much in charge of parts uh, procurement for all three of our branches now. So it's it's crazy. Uh, stuff that's on back order, you know, with this uh, pandemic and everything going on, it's very difficult for us to get uh, certain parts for our trucks and everything to keep them running. So when stuff goes on back order, my job is to hunt all over the country and call every dealer on the face of the planet to see who's willing to sell us the parts and uh, then get them coming in for our warranty job. So it's been very, uh, it's been very exciting, but it's also been very tiring. So. I'm kind of at a loss for words right now because it's Friday, 7 o'clock, and I'm just tired. So, um, yeah. So this signifies the last of the actual internal mechanical parts that need to be addressed. Um, once I get this all torqued down, the valve cover can go back on, and then it's just getting the intake manifold and the exhaust manifold back on. I did cut the cat off of this one. Um, lucrative money, you know? <laughs> It was worth more than what I almost, almost as much as I paid for the truck. So I sold it. So now I got to come up with an exhaust system. I also wanted to show you guys while you're in here, the PCV valve is behind the alternator. 
and it's this gold guy right here. So there's this metal housing right here, and this is the PCV valve that threads into it with a 19 millimeter wrench. So if you're in here and you're down to this point, you may want to consider throwing that on there. And I also bought some bulk hose, uh, some fuel oil hose, because it's only vapor that's going through it. I'm going to replace that hose. Uh, as many hoses as I can replace on this thing, I will. Um, I'll just use bulk hose wherever I can. And if it is going to be something specific, like I did cut this uh, really, and I don't know why they did this. There's a bleeder cap on the heater hose. And they, it looks like the heater hose itself is still in good shape. So I, don't, I might just take this whole operation out and just slide this onto the heater core and just leave it that way, you know and uh, be done with it and see well, it looks like they did cut it there anyways um i'll figure something out <laughs> it'll trust me it'll be done it's just i just want this thing running at this point and uh with may right around the corner the plan is to have have it running by may anyways um thank you uh like share and subscribe uh as i said i'm not showing the other project but this project is okay because this is all uh, how to and technical stuff which I'm uh, proud of and has done very well for me on this channel so uh, like share and subscribe if you have any questions or comments or concerns let me know in the comment section below smash the like button and I'll see you guys in the next video see ya